Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a massive Harrison, massive by my scale anyway. Harrison 11 inch swing lathe. Big thing, I've got a one inch bar in it just because I was messing away with it. I'm only just after getting it going. Round the back, in there it is a big three phase, one and a half horse motor. Three wires going into it. Here they are, big tangle. And I've got it running through this VFD inverter, variable frequency drive from a regular 13 amp plug, single phase. So this one is an XSY-81. There's a model number and some other numbers there. 81-1500S. You can have a look at that. This wasn't very expensive. I think it was under 50 quid on a popular internet auction site. It, uh, set up for frequency in the forward direction that's the motor coming on if I engage this it puts the clutch on and then if I put it into gear low speed just for now that's it turning I can do a forward reverse, so press this button. I have it set up there at 49.5 or 50 hertz, which is what the motor's rated to run at. I turn that down. Change direction again. Turn it the other way, and I can turn it back up to whatever I want, but 50 is probably the limit, really. It's not flashing in real life, it's just on the camera. But this is a useful little inverter, and it's a useful way of getting a three-phase motor that's only got three connections on it to, to run. And it's really simple to wire. You put the regular electricity in over here. And you take the three phases out here and if the motor isn't spinning the correct direction you swap any two of these three phases and then bob's your uncle you should be there simplest thing i ever did and i always used to think i can't buy a three-phase machine because of blah 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 but you know you're going to spend a few hundred quid or more on a massive machine spend a little bit on one of these see how you go if you wanted to buy a really expensive siemens one or something like that you could and by all means go ahead Start off with the cheap stuff for the cheap machines and you're away with it. I can't believe this. You know, it's really, really simple. Any questions or comments, leave them below. This is a one and a half uh, kilowatt machine. So it should, you know, all things being equal, work. And it does on a one and a half horse motor. I can't say it's rated for, you know, everyday solid use in a workshop, but, uh, for a hobbyist machinist like myself, if I could call myself that, this is excellent. I'm very pleased with it. You can also use it to run washing machine motors and I've put up other, other videos of that kind of thing. There you go. Thanks for watching. See you later.